<clears throat> hey, Shalom. We the real Hebrew Israelites coming to you week in, week out, prophesying the truth and the return of the Heavenly Father to set up His everlasting kingdom for you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, so called, and the confusion of the face that spirit bear witness with this truth. And bloodline goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, according to scriptures. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Baha Sham, Yahweh Shah, Baha Rakakadash, which is the Heavenly Father's name and the Son name. The Heavenly Father name in the name of the only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly and willingly calls Jesus, and by how we the uh, in the Holy Spirit. That's the only way you can worship Him, as the scriptures say. That's what the true worshipers will do. And double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, the Holy Prophets, back today in the reincarnation, pushing His word out, true sincerity and charity, guiding our nation the correct way, man. But uh, um, double one, I mean, Shalom to you all that follow order likewise and push his word out, truth, sincerity, and charity. Not just here in America, but wherever you may be. And those that call on the name of truth, sincerity, and charity and teach the proper doctrine that is not part of Great Millstone, that do diligent works. But, uh, but well, I want to go into this topic, man. Basically, about, uh, fasting. It's different types of fast you can do, man. You can fast from food, water, okay, game, okay, your woman, sex, or anything you got a problem with. But ultimately, overall, fasting is good for you, and the Lord requires it, okay. And fasting take away a lot of this uh, fleshly things and desires to build you more up in spirit, okay, and keep you strong in the day to come, okay. You afflict yourself now. Rather than be inflicted later. We taking a correction now. So we won't have to take it later, man. When Jacob's trouble come. When everybody forced to fast. Not just for no day or two or three days. However long. But longer than that. Till they die, man. That's the worst way to die, as the scriptures say. But through a fast, whatever fast you may have, man. You know, a quick aspect. You know, it teach you discipline. You know, the first, the first, uh, in order to be disciplined, man. It requires you to have a strong mind. Okay, and say I, I know that the Most High got us, and we can endure all things, cause it won't kill you, man. It's to build you up, you know. Fast is just for 24 hours, however long you look at it, you know, from sundown to sundown. As the scriptures say, a day to a day is, the, as the scriptures say, uh, morning and evening. That's a day, man. Okay, so Lord, we're not just gonna pull these scriptures out, man. Okay, because fast and teach you discipline. Because although you write that, like, damn, everybody around you eating and drinking, you know, you like, your flesh tell you, you might as well go ahead, the Lord will overlook it, you all good, yeah, you know, and then you just do it, man, that's a, that's a lack of discipline, you know, you went back on your word, you know, but hey, like I say, man, the Lord always watching, and he respect that you follow through with it, and these are a couple videos you can watch, man. You know, go to these brothers' pages. The Howard Shy is coming. Okay. GMS Son of the Right. GMS Born Again. A couple of things to keep you uh, strong minded, man. Why fasting is essential. Benefits of fasting, you know. You know, the, all ties into fasting, you know. Other little videos you can watch. Don't be a weakling. Fasting is mandatory. We have 100% assured victory through your house shot. GMS, fear the most high. Okay, but, you know, I'll hop right into the scriptures now. This is Joel 2 and 12. Therefore, also now, saith the Lord, and we know his name is Yahweh according to scriptures. Okay, which is facts. Turn ye even to me with all your heart, and with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning. And your heart is your mind. Okay? And that's what the Lord requires, man. That's another form of sign and crime. And putting your flesh under subjection. Keeping your body under subjection. Okay? As the scriptures say. It builds you up, man. Give you discipline. Knowing that you could drink that, but you're going you gonna to wait, man. Okay? Follow through your fast. You look at it like the kingdom, man. You could be right there for your rewards and glory. All you had to do was wait another hour or two. Maybe three. Maybe five. Okay? And you blew it away just to take the chip. You blew it away just to eat some swine that the uh, enemies offer to you. 
or a human, okay? Or you blow it away to eat your own baby. Because a lot of people that disobey the Lord and that don't put their flesh under subjection and get right and repent right now, while the doors of mercy is open and accept the Lord's mercies and hope for the rewards everlasting to come, and you're going to know a death by pain, man. Pan in the way of hunger, freezing, getting mauled by animals, you know, the Lord going to require you. Hey, so lock your too if you know if you get a little noise in the background. I'm doing this little video real quick. And uh, I'm going to go to uh, Psalm 69 and 10. It say, When I wept and chastened my soul with fasting, that was my reproach. I made sackcloth as my garment, and I became a proverb to them. Okay, and fasting, I'll do it, teach you discipline and teach you to be humble. Teach you to be meek, man. And put you in a lower state, man. Because America and wherever you may be is going into a lower state. You know? And we got to understand that. Okay? And a lot of people going to talk down on you, look down on you. But if you say what the Lord do and do what the Lord say, man, you're going to be good. Meanwhile, you fasting and being suffering and things like that. And everybody else around you having good time, man. Eating good, living good. Okay? But we know we got coming, man. So we ain't going to lose hope of that. It's Daniel 9 and 3. And I set face unto the Lord God to seek by prayer and supplication with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. You know, sackcloth basically like another word for uh, humiliation, man. You put on sackcloth. You know, most of our garments are made out of sackcloth, man, things like that. And it says, I prayed unto the Lord my power and made my confession and said, O Lord, the great and dreadful God, keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love him and them that keep his commandments. Okay, he commanded us to go out in the highways and byways. He commanded us to feed his sheep. He commanded us to stay from all appearances of evil. He commanded us to build and be built up and repent and come back, man. Okay, and he commanded us to fast and pray, man. As it says, man, in the Old Testament and the New. Okay, because anything the Lord says uh, is a goals, man. A precept is a commandment. So any precept in the scriptures that talk about fasting, that is a commandment, man. Okay, we have sinned and have committed iniquity and have done wickedly and have rebelled even by departing from thy precepts and from thy judgments. Thy precepts, man, a commandment. Okay, neither have we heard thy servants, the prophets, which spake in the name to our kings, our princes, and our fathers, and to all the people of the land. Okay, so therefore what you should do, come back, convert, which that's what it means, come back, repent, get built up. Okay, watch how to do it the correct way. Pray fast. You know, you got to crawl before you walk. But you gotta, if you got the ability to do a, a four-day fast or maybe two, three days, however the Lord see fits, man. If you know you could do more, you should be doing that, man. Say, so, And I speak to myself first and foremost. Because, you know, those days when I knew I could fast and I didn't. Days I should have been praying and I didn't. And I got the outcome of that. And through that experience, I know better now. Say, O Lord, righteous belong unto thee, but unto us confusion of faith as it is this day. To the men of Judah, to the habits of Jerusalem, and to all Israel that is near, and that are far off. Through all the countries, whether thou hast driven them because of their trespass, that they have trespassed against thee. Okay, because hey, we went off, man. That's why you got a thing called confusion of faith. That's why we are scattered. That's why Baruch 4 tell you we were sold to our enemies, because we transgressed, man. And a lot of people don't want to hearken to the words of the Lord. And it's the words of the Lord in red, man. Who the word even called Jesus and then you have a shot. Acts 26, he spoke Hebrew, man. His father is a Hebrew. That's the language of creation. That's the language of angels. Okay? Ain't no E's, O's, U's, V's, J's in our language, man. This is Matthew 17 and 21. How be it this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. And what they're talking about, man, is talking about anything, man. Whatever desires and whatever fleshly things you want to get out, man, it cannot leave but by prayer and fasting. And pray to the Most High first and foremost and fast if you can. Okay? You got in verse 20. I'm going to read verse 20. I'm going to read 19. Ready? I'm going to just read verse 20 because when you read up, basically, they ask why we can't cast them out. And that's what the Lord said unto him. You have a shot saying to them because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, if the, you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. So if you got faith, man, okay, nothing is impossible, man. Even getting spiritual powers, even flying, even saving your family, man, wherever they may be, if you really love your kids, man. 
overcoming this world and wickedness, man, nothing is impossible if you got faith. Okay, you got to grow. You got to be disciplined. Okay, you got to put your body under subjection, man. You got to be an example and not a hypocrite. But how be it, this kind of go up not out, but by prayer and fasting. Okay? Which is the whole point of the lesson, man, which builds you up discipline, humbly. It teaches you things, man. Because we all going to be tempted, man. So if you fasting now and you praying now, when that day comes, it's going to be nothing, man. Because we've been getting ourselves ready for the day to come, man. We've been getting ready for the big game, man. We going to win. By 100 to 0. If we done, man. Uh, and it's a uh, 2 Corinthians 6 and 4. But in all these things are proving ourselves. So you got to prove your own selves, as the scripture say. No, you're not your own selves. That in the most eyes in you, except you be reprobates. As the ministers of God and much patience and afflictions and necessities and distress and stripes and imprisonments and tumults, labors and watching and fasting, man. Hey, that's part of the game. You gotta fast. You gotta pray, man. That's how you get built up. That's how you get more spiritual. You gotta Lord hear your prayers, man. So you can pray for yourself and the brothers, man, to be protected in the day to come. Okay? And you know, Lord, we'll hope the less was that a fine man. I want to give all praise and glory, honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahawa Karkadash, double honor to the elders and apostles, great millstone, which the most I set up. And Lord, we'll hope, to, hope you brothers continue to endure, man. Again, uh, never trust our enemy, man. And dead like no others come upon America. So if we're getting ready now, by any means necessary, we shall win at the end. And it starts by faith, man. Gotta have faith and believe, a. Hey, our labors is not in vain. My fasting is not in vain. My prayers are not going to hurt, man. These demons will leave me alone. These demons will flee. The Lord will deliver me no matter where I'm at, what jam I'm in. You got to have faith, man. Whether you were brothers or whether you alone, man. But most importantly, how beautiful is it for brothers to dwell in unity, man? Because two is better than one. Hey, Shalom.